Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 2. Today is episode number 10. If you guys do enjoy the content, then be sure to leave a like as it really does help with the YouTube algorithm at the moment. Feel free to subscribe, drop a follow on Twitch, and hopefully you enjoy the content. This video was streamed live on Twitch. Come watch us live with the link in the description. All right, we are here with the Kumu Tire 250 horsepower Invitational. Uh, and this is going to be uh, do, 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 Tsukuba Short, New York Circuit, and Suzuka Circuit. We're taking the Mugen Integra. I think that's how you say it. And if not, I apologize in advance. All right, so we're starting off with uh, Suzuka Circuit. With a Mugen Integra. Good start so far. Lovely, lovely. Let's get going. So yeah, uh, start of this stream... For anyone watching on YouTube, uh, in the future, I guess. <laughs> um, we actually had a insane amount of technical difficulties. Because, uh, apparently... Apparently... Uh... Ooh! How the hell have I... How the hell have I got a rear-wheel slide in a front-wheel drive car? That's not how it's supposed to work, sir. Uh, yeah, so the uh, capture card doesn't like my brand new HDMI Matrix I bought. It's killer, the Matrix, by the way. Not the film. The piece of tech that I got. Bloody amazing, because it means that I can, like, send whatever I want to whatever I want. Like, I could even press a button right now and just disconnect the entire video feed while still being able to see... The gameplay. Obviously, I'm not that much of an idiot. I'm trying to record a video, so I'm not going to do that. But I can do it. I can even turn my PlayStation on. Send my PlayStation to my monitor. <laughs> and still have uh, the Forza content go to the capture card. But again, I'm not going to do that because I'm recording. And that would be a stupid thing to do. So this thing's got a modified exhaust system, which is probably why it sounds a little louder than normal cars. It definitely got some pull. Do to you can see? Love sliding around that corner. Front wheel drive for Christ's sake. Not bad. Right, odds on. One to three. Then we spin out. Three, two, one, two. Clearly, you all didn't say two. <laughs> Honestly, this car is so easy to lose control on that uh, hairpin quarter there. And it's really confusing why. Because, it, again, front wheel drive. Normally, the drive wheels are the ones that lose control when you put too much power through them. So, normally, it would be a problem with understeering. And unless I was using the handbrake, which I'm not, because you'd hear that. Oh. Maybe I asked for that one that time. <laughs> I was telling the car it should have been understeering under power. And what did it do? Understeer. Take it down to the bunker. Is that mighty VTEC? Uh, 
I actually don't know if the Integra Type R has VTEC or not. I know the S2000 was like VTEC, VTEC all the way. I genuinely don't know if the Integra had VTEC. I'm actually kind of curious now. <laughs> How are you doing today though, Hans? Hopefully you're having a good day, my man. How you been? Also, I've seen those pictures of the um, design that you did. Uh, for the cruising sessions. Fucking mint. <laughs> That's like... The only words that should ever be used to describe it. It is perfection. <laughs> but yeah, I greatly appreciate it, man. Greatly appreciate it. That would actually be a cool thing to uh, check up on, though. Is this a VTEC engine? Take you down to the bunker. Well, it's always good when you have a day at work and it's not stressful. That's always a good day. And there we go. Across the line. We got ourselves a result. Uh, 5.39. Not too bad. I'm going to save that replay just in case. Probably not going to end up using it. Let's uh, continue. Result. Alright, here we go. We are starting race number two. Uh, this is New York Circuit with the Integra. Um, and off camera, on camera for stream, but, uh, obviously the, for the YouTube, the YouTube won't have seen it. Um, yeah, the Integra does have VTEC, which is a pretty cool thing. We'll learn something new. Rotary Integra will be more interesting. It would. Yeah, it would. The only thing is, the rotary... I love the rotary engine. I think it's my... I think it's my favourite engine. I think it's everyone's favourite engine because of the sound it makes. That... Just over and over again. Like, the idle sound of that engine is so much better than it actually revving. That's how good that engine is. That it can sound good when it's not even in use. That's a difficult thing for an engine to do. But, um... The only problem with it is the fuel economy is ridiculous. Because it burns through about twice as much fuel as any other engine. Even the most uneconomical engines out there use less fuel than a rotary. I think a rotary engine is on the same level of fuel usage as like a Lamborghini V12 or something like that. It's crazy. And granted, it does produce a significant amount of power for the size of it. It still isn't, you know. Add oil mix to the fuel. That's a fair shout. Oh yeah, low torque. Good shout. Such a good sounding engine. I genuinely think they're doing some rebounding effects. Because through here, it sounds a little more open. And when you get down here... You can hear it almost bouncing off the walls in this game. I think that's pretty cool. For the brap brap brap, I would swap my Skoda Fabia from inline 3 to rotary 2. 
I can't believe that any car has less than four cylinders. Like, why on earth would Skoda even offer an inline three as an option? Like, I don't think a car should have any less than four pistons. Unless the pistons... Or the engine is made by Koenigsegg. That's a good shout. That Koenigs Was it the Koenigsegg Jamira? That what was supposed to be a family car kind of thing? They did a three-cylinder engine that produced like 600 brake horsepower. And then twinned it with electric motors to make it 1,200 horsepower. Or something like that. That car was insane. I not really heard much about it. Because it was just at the Geneva Motor Show during the COVID restrictions. I haven't heard anything for the past two years about it. Ah, you physical. Ah. Ah, fair enough. I'm just... I don't see how anything... It's gonna have enough... Like, modern day cars need at least 200 horsepower. Definitely. Otherwise, they're just not very... Meh. They're just meh. Mid. Got 7,000 there. And we got a uh, Honda level 1 as well. Alright, here we go. I like how as soon as I start recording any of these clips, my CPU's total usage goes up to 70%. And my GPU goes up to 40%. As soon as I start recording any footage. I definitely need to get a new CPU. A better one. Yo, Aaron, what up? Driving for three or four years. Ah, fair enough. Yeah, uh, legally speaking, I'm not allowed to drive yet. So... Gotta wait till I pass my test, which should be in August. And that is if I pass. If I don't pass, then I'm fucked. Imagine not passing my test. I'd be absolutely gutted. Like, I've been trying to pass my test for three years, but COVID fucked everyone over. I started learning to drive back in, like, mid-2019. Right. Started doing my driving lessons. And I was ready to do my test in April 2020. As everyone knows. What happened in, uh... March of 2020. The corona na na, -na came along fucked everyone's plans meant that I had to cancel my driving instructor because he wasn't allowed to do lessons until June or July I wasn't willing to learn while wearing a face mask because that's just really shit <laughs> trying to drive with a face mask on and um the waiting time has been six months so for an actual test. Oh, there's a bug on my desk. I've just cleaned this, you little shit. Get off. <laughs> I mean, it... it it could be enjoyable actually turning my sim setup into an actual drivable thing. I don't know how that would work, though. I don't think I have the engineering degree to do that. If 
If you pass your driving license, you should have a warning sign on your car. I'm actually surprisingly safe on the road. <laughs> so. New, 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 new. Yeah, you're pretty lucky. Pretty lucky. Because you would have probably only been about anywhere from three months to a year off of actual COVID lockdown if you were, like, three to four years of driving experience since you passed. So you couldn't have been far off actually being close to that cutoff. Me, on the other hand, I was unlucky. <laughs> I got busted. <laughs> Do you know the funny thing is? I've just drunk. A glass of Fanta that I don't know what the flavor is. For context, right? In the UK, Fanta likes to do these guess the Fanta flavor drinks. They've, they've had like green colored ones, blue colored ones, pink colored ones. They're all colored weird to throw you off what they are. Um, I think the last one that I tried that was blue was like elderflower and apple. And obviously it was blue colored. <laughs> um, but this one tastes a little bit like um, mixed berry squash with a little bit of watermelon or something. That's sort of what it tastes like. I'm not sold on it, but it's not too bad. We got an achievement for that as well. What does the achievement tell me? Uh, oh, I missed it. How do I find my achievements? There we go. Motorsport 2. Blowout. Awarded to the driver who wins the race, beating the rest of the field by a full race section. I've done that before with lapped opponents. Does that not count? Oh, well. Anyways, let's go to the next one. All right, so we've come first. We've got ourselves a 1995 Mazda AB Flugs. Flug. Now we're at seven. Wow. <laughs> that is... That's fucking beautiful. That is fucking beautiful. Okay. Right, let's move on to the next one. We're going to um, begin with the 300 horsepower Invitational. Starting off in Sebring, moving over to Laguna Seca, and finishing off in Sakuba. Let's get going. That fly is back again. Get the fuck out of here. There we go. Right. Let's get going. <laughs> we're going around Sebring. Uh, we're taking the Integra again because I love the sound of the engine. Oh! We got some um, difference. Uh, difference? The upgrades that we added um, between... The last championship, which was 250 horsepower, and this one, which is the 300 horsepower. We've added um, two performance upgrades, which give us an extra about 45 horsepower. So we're still a bit short of the uh, kilowattage limit. Or the horsepower limit, whatever you want to call it. Um, but we do have uh, better anti-roll bars. So the tyres will be more... Um, more of the tire will be in contact with the tarmac as we're going through corners. Um, and then also, uh, we didn't get better tires because we did that for the first one. Uh, we've also got weight, weight loss as well. We, uh, put the, um, Integra on a weight loss program. So far, it's been scammed of 350 pounds. <laughs> I don't know where you're running from and what you're running from. Oh. I got some really shitty jokes under my belt at the moment that I just really need to get off my chest. <laughs> it's 
smack today like 10 flies and they keep running from outside. Honestly, flies are like... They like to hang around when the window's open, especially when it's hot outside. Which is obviously the worst time for us to put up with the flies because we're then swatting around trying to swat away these flies. Oh my god. Ah, get back on the track. There we go. Uh, so, plan is tomorrow we're going to be playing some uh, more Grid Legends. Because the first of the four DLC packs for Grid Legends actually comes out tomorrow. Which is awesome! And by the looks of it, it's going to be some form of Demolition Derby kind of inspired events, which... I'm very excited about. Um, so yeah, we're going to be playing that tomorrow on stream. Uh, Wednesday, we're back with more Falls of Motorsport 2. Thursday, more Grid Legends. Friday, more Motorsport 2. Saturday, we're going to play some uh, another cruising session, which for Saturday, we have Hans's amazing uh, livery to show off. Very excited about that one. Uh, and then Sunday is something first-person shooter-based. I think Borderlands 2. You bought the three LEGO Batman games. Awesome! Did you buy it with my link? I hope you did. New, new, new. Whoa! Meow. What on Steam? Was it really that cheap on Steam? I swear it doesn't go that cheap. Fair enough, not bad then. Definitely would have been cheaper to buy it elsewhere though. Definitely. <laughs> it is what it is. Not bad. <laughs> the car is ugly. What do you mean the car is ugly? What? The crashed one? I might have to check this out. I may cry. <laughs> you guys might see me cry live on stream, but I won't be recording it. <laughs> That's for sure. You YouTube folk will miss out. I'm sorry. Not bad though. We got first place. 8,100. Get close to level 19, and we're level 2 with the uh, Hondas as well. Alright, here we go. Let's get ready for the uh, second race. I've pressed start recording way too early, because I'm an idiot. <laughs> here we go. Mazda Raceway, Lacuna Seca. Let's do this. Yeah, I bet. Any form of accident, no matter what it is, um, whether it's like... An accident you have at work. And it wasn't your fault. Call injury lawyers for you. <laughs> I don't know why that came up in my mind. <laughs> no, but um... <laughs> That's just such a classic advert in the UK. That you say that line. It just instantly pops up in your head. Um, no, but... Any form of like accident you've had. If you have it at work in a car, at, at some form of trail, maybe, outdoor activities, I don't know. But any form of accident you have, typically will shake you up a bit. So, that's kind of a normal response.
But yeah, that's a 2001 Ford Focus. Of course I'm going to like that car. I love the Ford Focus. Sing, count, and hang. Jam. Edward Oberon. Awesome artist he is. Let's go somewhere else. Meh, 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 meh. Too much noise in the problems. Teet Mac. Charming. Let's go somewhere else. Somewhere else. <laughs> I bet. I don't want my first car. I want it to be like. I don't know. I want it to be a solid car. Not something made of flimsy plastic. But I don't want it to be expensive. And I want it to be somewhat upgradable. I can change some parts on it. Something like that. I don't care about the insurance, man. My insurance is going to be fucking expensive anyways. I may as well put something on it. <laughs> My insurance is going to be two and a half grand for the first year. I can guarantee you it. If it's going to be that much and me putting on a custom part adds like 50 quid to that, I'm putting on fucking custom parts. I don't care. Because let's be honest, the insurance company is never going to charge someone five grand to insure a fucking Corsa. That's worth 1,000. <laughs> yeah. It's got to be something that's not going to bore me to the point I don't want to drive. Because more... Th Actually, more than likely, it'd probably be better to buy a car, insure it for a year, and never drive it. And then just buy a proper fucking car two years later. And then insure that for like 500 quid. Go somewhere else. I wanna. Mm -mm Something that I've just noticed, the driver doesn't look like he's centered with the car very well. If you look very closely, it looks like the wheel is off to the side. I don't know whether that's just the angle that the camera is, but it looks strange. <laughs> fair enough, Hans. Fair enough. Four minutes and 53. We're level 19. We got some more dodges in the dealership. Charming. But I don't care because we're going to move on something else. The next race. That's what we're moving on to. All righty -o. I like how my activity feed on uh, Discord doesn't actually show. Uh, what's it called? That I'm playing Forza Motorsport 2. Even though it's supposed to show what my Xbox account is showing. Which my Xbox account is showing Forza Motorsport 2. So I'm very confused. Two litre Mazda was amazing. Fifth gear at 40 kilometers an hour engine accelerated up the hill without any issues. Jesus. I think the only 
Well, to be honest, the Marquis Mustang isn't even a Focus. That's just a Ford. But I'm going to be totally honest with you. The Focus is a lovely car. It's one of my favorite hatchbacks. Because it is one of the best. I would love a Mark II RS. And if I could have a 2017 Ford Focus RS, I'd be a very happy man. But I know it'd also be pretty fucking expensive, so... I'm still waiting for the new Focus RS. I don't think I've seen it yet for that new 2019 model. I've seen that Ford Focus many times, but haven't seen. Shut up, Bigsby. Thank you. My Bigsby loves to interrupt me constantly. I'm not talking to you. I'm going to stab her. <laughs> yeah, I, I would love either a full focus. Uh, the only thing I won't drive is um, a car that's known for... Like, I won't drive a Suzuki Swift. Not a chance in hell. I wouldn't drive a Fiat 500. I wouldn't... Those kind of cars. Because they are cars designed and aimed at... Women. <laughs> Let's be honest. You see a lot more female drivers in those cars and... I don't like the look of them most of the time anyways. Like the Suzuki Swift. <laughs> dog shit. The Vauxhall Corsa. Dog shit. Vauxhall Astra. Dog shit. Color on it's weird. Color of the car. It, in my opinion, as long as the color isn't like a dark green or a dark brown, I don't care. Or pink. You mean Opal Astra? No. So. Shit. So uh, in the UK. Opal um, is not allowed to distribute their vehicles under the Opal brand. I have no clue why, but they're not allowed to. So they're called Vauxhall in the UK. V-A-U-X-H-A-U-L. So you've got... Um, I'll, I'll show you in this, actually, because this game has both Opal and Vauxhall. You'll see the comparison between the two cars. They are identical. But, um... Bigsby, I'm not talking to you. Please fuck off. Yeah, they're, they're not the same brand. Because you can't get an Opal in the UK. So, if I look for an Opal, I'll end up spending, like, million, millions on shipping. Literally. Because it would involve import fees. You wouldn't be getting an Opal in the UK. I know there's three brands in the world that have the Astra. They're basically Opal, but rebranded. But I can't remember. Alright, let's continue. I'm going to get my rewards. We're now level three with Honda, which is lovely. 
And I'm going to get a Peugeot 207 Super 2000. Holy shit. I love that. Wow. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out. <laughs>